Even though the two best players in the NBA play with contrasting styles, they're equally effective. Kevin Durant's near seven foot five wingspan matches the wingspan of Roy Hibbert, even though Durant is five inches shorter. And despite this lanky frame, Durant is able to pull up and release jumper in just half a second. In fact, in the average amount of time LeBron takes to pull up and get off a shot, Durant's shot is already out of his hands, more than 11 feet above the floor. And his jumper is still lethal, more than 25 feet from the bucket. But defenders can't play him too closely outside the three-point arc because with just one dribble and three massive seven-foot strides, Durant is already at the rim. An inch shorter, but more than 10 pounds heavier than Durant, LeBron is built more like a linebacker. But even with this thicker frame, LeBron can reach a speed of more than 20 miles per hour on the court. That's as fast as Chris Paul, who's 75 pounds lighter. And for his estimated 40 plus inch bird, at least six inches higher than Durant, LeBron generates more than 1,500 pounds of force at takeoff. This results in a max vertical touch of more than 12 feet. And this athleticism doesn't just help LeBron score, it also enables him to be one of the league's best setup men. His muscular upper body, comprised primarily of fast twitch muscle fibers, helps him release 40 mile per hour pinpoint passes in less than half the time it takes the average NFL QB to release a pass. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!